Here we will see page directive in ASP.NET. In ASP.NET, page directives work as an instruction to specify the optional settings for the page. The page directive is used to define the attribute specific to the page file for the page parser and the compiler. These are the settings in ASP.NET using which how a web page or user control work under the .NET framework. Page directives can be placed anywhere in the .aspx or .ascx file, but standard practice is to include them at top of the file. The general syntax for page directive is First, we will specify the page, then attribute and its value. The different attributes of page directives are Auto event wire up which is the boolean value that enables or disables page events that are being automatically bound to the methods for example page load buffer directive is the boolean value that enables or disables http response buffering class name is the class name for the page client target is the directive which specifies the browser for which the server control should render content Code file is the name of the code behind file. Debug is the boolean value that enables or disables compilation with the debug symbol. Description is the text description of the page ignored by the parser. Enable session state directive enables, disables or makes session state read only. Enable view state is the boolean value that enables or disables view state across the page request. Error page is a URL for redirection if an unhandled page exception occurs. Inherits is the name of the code behind or other class. Language is the programming language for code. SRC is the file name of code behind class. Trace enables or disables tracing. Trace mode indicates how trace messages are displayed and sorted by time or category. Transaction indicates if transactions are supported. Validate request is the boolean value that indicates whether all input data is validated against the hard code list of values. Example of defining page directive is First is page, then language, we specify the C sharp, auto event wire up is true, code file is default.aspx.cs, then inherits default trace is true. Here you can add attributes and its values.